So, so we are um, here with uh, Aparna, so it must be Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Tuesday, it must be Rome. So, if it's Wednesday, it must be Aparna on the Zoom. So, thank you for being like thank you, and joining us every single Wednesday. <laughs> and uh, such a beautiful energy you bring to the group along with everybody else. And, uh, thank you, thank you. and uh, this pandemic, this lockdown is infinitely more bearable because we have this beautiful community of people who come and join in. No matter uh, rain or shine or, uh, you know, whatever mood you're in, you're here. So, and, uh, and to be... And to extend the thanks to our dear children, Gayatri, Shubha, Pravesh, Arun, Jairam used to join, Adesh, I mean, it's really amazing, and in spirit, Amrit used to join, Gokul used to join through his mother's voice, and Nihal, and uh, Harsha, and Sri Charan, Mukku, and uh, a whole lot of people with Vijay. So it's so beautiful to have this. So Aparna, I wanted to today explore mm -hmm. a little bit about uh, mm -hmm. uh, your experience in the inclusion uh, yeah. stuff and uh, in relationship with uh, our children at Lotus. So what is the topmost uh, difference that you think and uh, we can talk about bridging that difference not about bridging to inclusion school but what is the difference in the setup in the two setups that you're working and see how we can explore that topic further so would you like to share um, something about your experience and the difference you see there and here uh... I also, uh, thank you, Nandini, for this wonderful uh, conversations we have every Wednesday. It's, uh, it's really, you know, it brings out so much in us, like, you know, so much of uh, uh, in-depth perception and how we look at it. Everything comes about, you know, in this kind of a conversation which we have. Uh, so what uh, I was trying to uh, say was, was like, the two educator, but I deal with children who have learning difficulties. So, and it's a regular school and uh, mm -hmm. I see it set up. So, it's yeah. all it's oh. different. here in Lotus, it's totally different. I work with children with uh, mm -hmm. uh, have, who have difficulties uh, in other areas. Mm -hmm. So, and most of them are non verbal. Here, they are they're verbal. So, but there again, it's you know. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually not very difficult for me because I try to get into the whole system fully. So with the children in Abacus, I deal with them differently and with our children and notice it's totally different. But again, we have to just be more aware, more alert to what they feel, you know, be more empathetic and then try to go according to that kind of a situation, you know, dealing with empathy and empathy and then how to bring about uh, what they think in the scenario. So there again, where we both sit together, I try to help out with the children and notice. Whereas in Abacus, it's different. I work with the children and then I go to the teachers and then the parents. So that's how I do it. So I don't know how you want the link to happen. Actually, I was uh, thinking about, about uh, it, you know, this morning, as I was um, thinking, of, and uh, since no message came from you about your cancelling, and I knew you would come in. So, uh, in my mind, uh, yeah. in my mind, what you said is so beautiful. You have to be sensitive to their feelings. Is something that is similar. That is the teacher's topmost priority. You have to be sensitive to their moods and how you approach their mood swings or their presence. 
one of the major differences that i see is there uh, you have to go along with a certain plan given to you while at uh, our uh, uh, lotus there is no plan the children define the plan in my mind that is the biggest difference where in your educational institutions of uh, the neurotypical nature uh, have been different with the neurodiverse nature that we have at lotus is that there there is a plan as laid out to the parents and the you know the teachers and the system while at lotus it's pretty much aparna and nandini who explore the psyche yes. and explore the psyche as shown the path shown by the children you know if if they want us to know then we go towards that otherwise we don't that is the ultimate freedom you know is uh, is what i was thinking about as i was exploring and similarity in both is uh, abitil says follow the children montessori is follow the children i think we also do at lotus we follow the children right you know like the sense uh, they lead us and then we just have to go according to their part which is right. happening at lotus so that right. is the similarity right but what you say is so beautiful it brings us to it brings this to the fore that all children are the leading lights of the future be it with autism or without autism verbal non verbal it doesn't matter they are the leading lights of the future so we as adults need to heed what they are bringing to our life because we think we are older so we know better but in actual reality the children have brought in new information from the spiritual world and they are living it so they know better is what i am thinking so we will continue this conversation aparna but i'm really kicked with the whole concept of talking about being human in the context of the educational system wonderful conversation which we are having and i am really enjoying it and we are trying to think of so many new things and whatever you know we forgot and it just comes back here yeah because yeah. of the conversation yeah so yeah it does and we thank all the children and parents for being so patient <laughs> yeah, I, know. i know i know it's so beautiful thank you aparna catch you thank soon you. then <laughs>